Hey guys, welcome back to 40 Plus Life or welcome if you're new. I'm Veronica and today I am going to go over my monthly budget for September 2021. So based on my past monthly budget videos, I felt like they were a little too long because of all the writing out and everything. So, and thinking and you know, so this time I thought about it ahead of time. I figured out what I wanted to do and I got it done. Okay, so let's go over my mini goals. So I do mini goals for the month. So number one is to complete my Christmas envelope. If you saw my last cash envelope stuffing video, it was amazing because I put, because this, this envelope's almost done. So in my next cash envelope stuffing, it will be done. I don't care what, it's gonna be done. I think I only need 30 or $40 left to finish this envelope and that's what I am going to do. The next one is my car registration envelope. Same dealio, 30 to $40. I'm going to complete it and these two will be done and I can focus on putting my money in other things. So I'm really stoked about that because I know that these will be done. And then next up is adding $200 to my emergency fund to catch up. So what I had to do in earlier this month my younger daughter needed help and so I took $800 out of my emergency fund and gave it to her so that she could pay her rent and gave her extra for some for some other things so yeah so that's where that is which is fine so that's why I wanted to add so $50 automatically comes out of my paycheck each month no each paycheck <laughs> to it goes into my emergency fund. So I'm going to try my best to add an extra $100 into my emergency fund to help build that back up again. And then I want to have at least 17 no spend days. The last couple months I've been doing 15. So I'm going to see if I can actually do 17. And then my last little mini goal is to start adding to my new debt envelope. You haven't seen it yet, but in my next cash envelope stuffing, you will see it. I um, I created a debt envelope so that I can add a little bit in there and then either, I don't know, whenever I feel like it, I will deposit that money and then pay, use it towards something to help pay off my debt faster. So that's what that is for. And then on the notes is just to go over number one and two will happen unless something comes up. I will try my hardest for number three, which is the emergency fund catch up because it says I had to take out 900 to help my daughter. Wait, did I say 800 or 900? It is 900, I don't remember what I said earlier. <laughs> and then number four is yes, because I wanna try that. And then this will help me make a larger payment. So there we go, I finally made use of the notes box. Okay, before we continue on with my September budget, we need to do the weekly check-in, not weekly check-in. <laughs> We need to do my mini savings challenge for this week. My goodness, I can't talk. First things first, we're gonna go through and see any ones and fives that I have left over in my weekly, my spending envelopes basically is what it is, is going to go towards the mini savings challenge that I have. So I have new trackers that I created, um, pink ones now to match my little pink envelope, so. That's what those are. So, oh crap. <laughs> it's like not my money. So I had $53 in here. I have five, 10, 11, 12, 13 that I'm taking out. Boo, which leaves me with 40. So 40, what did I say? 13, man, I like just got this money. <laughs> So that is for the challenge. I mean, it's great. In the end, it'll be worth it. But still, man. <laughs> All right, that is for my personal spending. For pets, I still have to, I tried to go to the pet store today, but I had so many errands to run that it didn't happen. Or sorry, yesterday, not today. Ah, so I'm gonna hope to go this weekend. So I have 44 left. So those ones are coming out. Why is that like that? 
So this is my pet's envelope. I did order some cat waste bags on Amazon and I took the 16 out to go deposit back to my bank. Um, but I do need to go get some cat litter still. So challenge. And I'm taking out four, which leaves me with 40. And then food. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I do have a five. Man, I should have bought a boba today. Then I would have nothing. <laughs> so, I am taking out five for the challenge, which leaves me with the, which leaves me with twenty. I love these new pinky trackers. Pink is not my favorite color. I'll tell you that, but. It does look cute in this setup. And then, fun is still fine and miscellaneous is still fine. I still have to go to the bank and deposit money. Talk about lazy. All right, so let's see how much is going to my mini savings challenge. Five, 10, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Ooh, I'm just excited about that. Had to get my little mini savings challenge tracker. So the next color is going to be orange. So I'm going to just color that in really quick. And then I need my Sharpie. Oh shoot, I forgot. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Was that right? Why did I think it was 21? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. I don't know, but it's 22, which is very exciting. And I, this time around, someone on one of my, the last cash stuffing envelope I did gave a good idea. Michelle, thank you for um, giving me this suggestion. As I count them, I am going to, because there's so many <laughs> ones and fives, I, especially for the ones, I'm going to paper clip them into 20. So then in the future, it'll be easier to count. And then when I do the final count, I'm going to actually take the paper clips off and count just to make sure that it is correct. And also because it's so satisfying. But for the purposes of these countings, so you guys don't have to be tormented every single time, I'm going to do that. Um, no, I always start with fives. Fives I still am going to leave as is because there's not as many. And it's easier to count the fives. All right, here we go. And as always, I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, $180. My goal is to reach 200. So if I can do that, that would be amazing. 180, and now I'm gonna add this up really quick just to make sure that it matches. Here we go. 180. I am ready to go, and there we go. So now in the next final few that I have here, it'll be easier to count, and then again, when this is completely filled up, I will take all the paper clips off so that you can do a final whammy count. 
All right, that is it for the um, my mini savings challenge. We can go back now and complete my monthly budget for September. All right, and next up is my new September calendar. Well, it's not new, it's just new for September. So what I, okay, so this is what I decided to do. I'm actually really tired of these Parku erasable pens because they don't work like I want them to. So I decided that I'm just gonna use a regular pen and use a whiteout if, if I need to. So I love the erasable pens, but I feel like even when you erase it and you write over it, it just looks so crappy and I hate that. So what I did for my paydays, I wrote in um, just a regular thin black Sharpie pen and then the rest I just used a regular pen. I will still use these up because I have like a rainbow of colors and still gonna use them because I still paid for them. But for like my main stuff, so for like my calendar view and then this page, I just want to use regular pens because I wasn't happy with that. So for my calendar view for September. So I already have my payments written out. My rental income comes out on the first or comes to me on the first. I've got three paydays this month because I get paid on Thursdays. So the 2nd, 16th and the 30th. So I'm excited about that. And then my Etsy um, payments come through every Tuesday automatically into my bank account. So I just added that in. And then the rest of it, I'm going, I already wrote everything out, but I haven't highlighted it yet. So I already have my little legend over here so you can see what I'm going to be highlighting. All right, here are my beautiful pastel highlighters. These things I do love. So first things first, I get my green highlighter and I highlight anything that is income related. So my paydays, my Etsy pays, and my rental income. And then all the bills, which is basically anything that is not a credit card or debt kind of thing. Not including mortgage, I still count that as a bill. So rent and mortgage are getting purple. Health insurance, Verizon, energy, cable and internet, known host, Netflix, vision insurance, my car insurance, my PO box, and my renter's insurance, dental insurance and Adobe, Southwest Gas, and YouTube Premium, and Fast Track, and Google Workspace. Okay, all the rest of them should be debt, credit cards, and my car payment. So I am going to do those. That's why I try and put the CC at the end, like Chevron CC, that stands for credit card. Helps it stand out better. The only time I don't do that is for the PayPal credit, but credit helps, and care credit, so that has its own thing, and the car. <laughs> okay, so next up are appointments, which I don't have any yet. I will add those in later if they come up. So that's the blue, and then the light blue is holidays. Are there any holidays? Yes, what am I thinking? Duh. I'm going to get my regular pen. And Labor Day. Duh. Totally forgot about that. So Labor Day is September 6th. And I am off work of that as well. So I'm just going to write off. <laughs> so that is the one holiday for... September and then what's next events so events would be like if I was traveling somewhere or birthdays anything that's fun or I'm doing something so that would be like my daughter visiting me so that is an event for me and then it's her birthday the following week so we will celebrate it when she's here and then my best friend's birthday. 
And I think that's everything there. So the spending and the no spend days, as the days go by, I start writing in things like if I bought groceries or whatever. And then anything that I spent out of either my bank cards or my cash envelopes, I'll write in here and then I'll highlight with the spending. And then any no spend days will get the orange. Okay, so that is the calendar view for now. If I need to add something later, I will. And now I've got my actual budget for September. So for this one, I still, I did use um, my Parku pen. So you can see here, you know, I erased it and then added on here and I just don't like how that looks or how it feels when you write. I like pens to be smooth and these don't seem to be. So I'm not too happy with these. Okay, so I'm just going to go through everything because I already have it out. So this is my expected budget for payments, my paychecks for the month. 2100 my rental income for my house back in California is $3,050. Miscellaneous income is anything. Oh, sorry, my daughter's payment. I'm not budgeting anything for that. I still don't think she's ready to start paying me yet. So although her payment is going to be much, much smaller now. So if she can, that would be great, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, and then... Uh, any Etsy payments will, um, I'm not budgeting for either because it's not a given. And then miscellaneous, I am budgeting, budgeting $500. That is for any extra work I do, any other um, side work that I do, any money that I get somehow or whatever. That is what I am going to budget for just based on, I don't know, the previous months I've been getting over this. So I'm lowballing it a little and I'm hoping for the best and then my expected budget rollover is $600 which I'm so happy this is growing so the total amount is $6,250 now for my budget this is all my expenses for the month um, I don't think I really need to go over it you can see it all I'll just go over a few key points my health insurance so I didn't have to pay anything last month there was some kind of special money thing that was given to Nevada somehow and I was shocked that I didn't have to pay any health insurance in August because it's normally $225 so not having to pay anything was wonderful and in September I only have to pay $37 so I will be paying that and then going forward I think just till the end of the year it'll be a hundred and something dollars but it's still less than what I was paying so I'm really excited about that okay and then envy energy i just paid in at the very at the end of august just because i'm not sure how the weather is it's just because of the it's so hot and having to use the ac i pay a lump sum and then as it goes down if i need to refill it then i do so i just budget 100 for it just in case and then everything else is all normal all the regular stuff Fast Track, I'm not budgeting for. This is like a toll. Back in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, there's bridges everywhere. And so that's what this Fast Track is for, is to cross all the bridges and not, you know, have to pay anything because you get billed for it. Um, but So my daughter is using it, but as her car is not usable right now, that's why I'm budgeting zero. So we'll see how that goes. And then groceries... I have budgeted as 250. This is my new amount. So in August, I still had it at 200, but this is what I am budgeting for now. 250 gas. I'm doing 85, and then the 100 worked for me in August, so I'm gonna stick with 100 again instead of the 200 that I used to do. So that total is 3,678 minusing the 6,000 gives me a balance of 2,572. Moving on to my debt. It's all the same debt that I do every month. The only thing I'm really going to aim to try for 100 with Chevron, hopefully more, but this is my minimum that I want to do. And then everything else is still the same. So that comes to 1,341, which then leaves me a balance of 1,231, which is way better than what I've been doing. So normally the budget for my emergency fund is 100 a month, 
but I'm tr gonna try and add that extra 100, so that would be 200. I wanna try and add $50 to my 52 week challenge, and then I wanna try and add $500 to my sinking funds, which is a total of 750, leaving me with 481. So I do not do a zero base budget. I like to have a cushion um, because you just never know for me, especially just based on my experiences, this is what works best for me. So I'd like to, I, I'm like to have a minimum of 500 as a cushion, but I'm gonna see how this goes. So this is without any Etsy payments and the minimum of my miscellaneous. I hope it's not less than that, but we will see how all that goes. So that is my actual budget for the month of September. And then lastly, lastly is my sinking funds budget. And I already have everything written out. I also did my little, I love these, little um, clean color dot. The only thing I've been using them for is this, <laughs> but I love how they turn out. And so this is my, Consider my little pink mini mini binder that I keep in my wallet, my, well not my wallet, my bag, my backpack. The purple, my purple binder, my blue binder, my yellow binder, my, this is my, my big black binder, but obviously I'm not gonna, I don't have a black color, so I put green for now. <laughs> and then I use the orange for my red binder. <laughs> That is just for now. I was just trying something different and I, I like how it's separated. As you can see also, I have added more. Can you even see all these? Let's see, there we go. I have had I have added even more envelopes so they don't no longer all fit on here. So I'm gonna have to adjust this for next time. My budget for the month is 500. And honestly, it is not a lot because, I don't know, it's just not. <laughs> Um, I like to, usually I do around three, three to 400 per cash envelope stuffing because I only do it twice a month. But I like to lowball my budgets just because I'm just, you just never know what happens. So what I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be 50, this is for my personal envelope, 40 for pets, 20 for food, 20 for fun, zero for miscellaneous. And I'm gonna add this up as I go because I gotta make sure it reaches 500. Christmas. Okay, I gotta get the binder because, so I know what the exact amount is I need to put in. So 620, so it's actually 30. And then car registration is the 40. Okay, couldn't remember exactly. So 30 plus 40, so I'm at 200 now. Car maintenance, 10, home repair, 20. Let's see, um, Red Wolf, 10. Okay, my new debt envelope, that's the new one. I'm gonna try and add 20. And I just realized I have not added more to this. So I'll just add it up. No, I gotta do it like this. 20, 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm currently at 260 date night and gifts so i'm at 300 the vet medical and dental that is 50. my daughters that's 20. taxes will vary depending on what my etsy pays are so i'm just going to put zero for now and then whatever i have to take out of my bank account for that i will um my back home is a for sure so that is 20 supplies nothing um, oh this is tough 20 for travel I'm gonna do 10 for giveaways big purchases I'm gonna do 20 Disney can wait outdoor adventures is 20 Okay, and I really want to start adding to my Roth IRA again. It, I'm so behind on this, so I'm definitely, that's a new envelope, by the way. So I have three new envelopes, I think. I've got the debt, I've got the Roth IRA, and was that it? 
I think that's it. I mean, which is which is enough. I don't need to keep adding more. This is so many. <laughs> okay, so I'm at 480. Investing can wait. Um, the Roth IRA is more important. I might even take some of the, I have the only think like 15 bucks in investing and maybe add it to Roth IRA, but I don't know yet. And then the last bit, these can wait. And then rainy day, because I want to make sure I keep building that up. That is my mini, mini emergency fund. So there we go. That's $500. 500. Including that little guy that's by himself. All right, awesome. So I think that is it. Yes, that is most definitely it. So I got my budget for my sinking funds for the month. Got my actual budget for September, which I'm really, I'm really happy about. June was just such a sucky month, and then each month, July and August, has been progressively getting better, even with stuff happening with my daughter and having to help her out. But I'm just feeling confident that things are getting better and better. So we'll see how that goes. Here is my calendar view, which is all nicely set up. And then finally, my cover page with my mini goals. So I'm really excited to see what September brings us. I'm really excited to see some cooler weather. I'm in Las Vegas and I grew up in the San Francisco, in San Francisco Bay Area. I don't do well with heat. So I'm looking forward to the weather getting cooler. So yay, <laughs> let's hope so. Okay, so that is it for my budget for September, 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And that will be all for now. I'll see you guys next time, bye.